Hello, Kulas. Welcome back to another interesting episode of Viva Barca, the home of everything Barca, where we are going to be discussing on the latest as usual. We start with um, young left back Alejandro Bade. It has been reported that the left back would leave on loan in search of game time. We are going to be discussing on that report as we progress. Secondly, we are going to be talking about Pablo Gavi as a recent report is claiming that Liverpool are ready to trigger Gavi's 50 million euros release clause. Thirdly, talking on Alex Collado as it has been reported that Xavi counts on the 23-year-old Barcelona loan returnee for next season. And finally, we are going to be talking about Dembele as it has been reported that Xavi have accepted Dembele's destiny and Xavi considers the case entirely lost. We are going to be looking at that report as well. So guys, as we get right into it, please do endeavor to subscribe. If you are a lover of FC Barcelona, give the video a like and make sure to watch the video right up to the very end. Young Barcelona defender Alejandro Bave could leave the team on loan in search of more minutes next season, according to Spanish media outlet Dario Sport. Bade, who is just 18 years old, made his first team debut back in September 2021 in a 3-0 loss to Bayern Munich in the group stage of the UEFA Champions League. With defensive reinforcements arriving for the next campaign, the 18-year-old might as well struggle to get minutes for that. And for that, you know, there are high chances of him moving away on loan for the rest of the season. Bave, who extended his contract until 2024 last year, is one of the young stars who has emerged to impress Xavi. In fact, speaking after the 0-0 draw against Getafe in the penultimate game of the season, the manager expressed how much he liked the young star's performance. Xavi said, I am very happy for Bade and Mika Mamal. They have a bright future ahead. But Alejandro Bade was great today, he was good in attack and showed his character, Javi's father said. Interestingly enough, Bade attracted interest from Ajax back in January when Barca were chasing a certain Nicolas Tagliafico. It was reported that Barcelona were prepared to offer the 18 year old as part of that deal, but the youngster was never interested in leaving. Born in Catalonia, Bade joined Barca in 2011 at the tender age of 8. It has, you know, it was in July last year that, you know, that signed a new deal which took his release clause to a whooping 500 million euros. The young star has mostly featured for Barca B this season, appearing in 15 games while clocking an impressive 1,153 minutes. Seeing his progression, he, has, he was called to the Champions League squad where he made two appearances. As far as La Liga is concerned, he made five appearances while playing a total of 187 minutes. Then on to the next story of discussion. As Barcelona's contract negotiations with midfield prodigy Gavi drag on, they are facing a serious threat from other clubs who could swoop in for the teenage sensation in the summer transfer window. The 17-year-old's current contract with Barcelona expires in the summer of 2023, and despite negotiations taking place, a deal is yet to be agreed upon. Barcelona president Juan Laporta expressed his displeasure at Gavi's agent Ivan de la Pena for delaying the contract agreement, while also adding that the club would not be improving the current offer they have tabled. Laporta's comments have not gone down too well in the Spanish international's camp, adding more tension to the situation. And now, Sport is reporting that Liverpool are planning to take advantage of the situation by making a move for signing Gavi. The 17 year old current contract with Barcelona comes with a release clause worth 50 million euros, and the UEFA Champions League finalists are now considering triggering the clause as they wish to hand him the landing in the summer. The report states that Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp is a big admirer of Pablo Gavi and has been following his progress for a while. The Merseysiders believe that he can be a fine addition to their roster and hence are prepared to shell out 50 million euros even though he is just 17. However, what works in favor of Barcelona is that the Spanish international is not contemplating an exit at this very point in time, that the master credit is settled in Catalonia and wants to continue at the club. So even though Liverpool would be able to offer him a much more lucrative contract, Gavi would prefer to stay at the Camp Nou. However, it is imperative that Barcelona resolve their mis on any misunderstandings with the players' camp and get him to sign the on the dotted line at the earliest possible. Then on to the next story of discussion. Young midfielder Alex Collado is keen to succeed at Barcelona and Javi has reportedly informed him that he is counting on him for next season. Spanish news outlet Dario Sports says Javi has personally communicated the message to Collado 
that he will be a member of the first team for the 2022-23 football season after missing out last term. The versatile midfielder was left unregistered after failing to move to Club Brugge and Sheffield United last campaign. This resulted to in, in him missing out on competitive football until December when he was eventually signed by Granada on loan for the rest of the season. Sports say Javi's intentions are pretty much clear and the player is excited about the idea too. I am looking forward to the end of the summer so I can return to Barcelona, said Alex Collado, following Barcelona's recent 6 nil win over Jamaica. You know, so Collado's eagerness to play for um, Barcelona has impressed Javi the most. The manager is galvanized by the idea that the player is keen to return despite the fact that the holidays have just begun. On top of that, Colado gained a valuable experience at Granada where he played 17 games while scoring 2 goals and given 1 assist. Furthermore, the 23-year-old missed mere 2 games this season and the managers he played under Robert Moreno and Ruben um, Torreshira and Aito Carranca since generally have trusted him with their approach. During his long tenure, the midfielder worked on, on his off-the-ball movement and he has succeeded pretty much at it. At Barcelona, although the style will be a bit different, he will indeed have to make use of everything he learned under the aforementioned managers at Granada. Then on to the final story of discussion, Xavi has finally made peace with the fact that winger Ousmane Dembele will in fact leave the team once his contract expires on June 30th. Regardless of what has been said in the past, Barcelona's endeavor of tying down Dembele on a long-term contract has failed to an extent that Xavi is now considering the case an entirely lost case. As quoted by Catalonia Radio, Xavi believed that Dembele's destiny has rather been made by the decisions taken by his manager, Sissoko. He has been left disappointed particularly because he held several one-on-one -on -one meetings with the Frenchman as he wanted the winger to continue. There are reports that Barcelona sporting director Matteo Alemani met with Sissoko last week in order to sort out issues but the meeting once again ended without an agreement. And now the latter has delivered a statement saying that the future of his client is still open. Usman Dembele's future is still open and we are not going to go into endless speculation. We are and have always been very respectful, respectful for all the clubs and we will continue in the same way, Sissoko was quoted by saying. When the time is right to make a decision, Usman will consider what is best for him in the future. Barcelona were hoping to find a quick solution, but the player's scam is visibly not happy with the figures Barcelona have put forward in the contract. And so Dembele's situation has put almost every top club on alert, particularly Paris Saint-Germain, who are reportedly keen on bringing the Frenchman back home. There are claims that PSG president Nasser El Khalafi has contacted Dembele's agent, but the new sporting director Luis Campos, you know, has made it absolutely clear that he does not want to sign the Barca striker due to his poor injury record. And thus the story goes on. So colors with that we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe. If you haven't please endeavor to do so so you always stay in touch with the latest news of Barcelona here on Viva Barca. Until next time, bye bye. Barca. Barca.